happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. So we hope that your uh, Thanksgiving day has been great. But tonight what I'm cooking is not related to Thanksgiving. So what are you cooking tonight? I'm making a three cheese baked rigatoni. This is one of our favorite dishes I cook at home. I mean, it is so good. So I thought I would just make it for y'all. So Kelly, what do you got going on here? So three cheese rigatoni. So rigatoni, because this is a pasta I'm using. Three cheese, I've got a mild cheddar and a gruyere and the mascarpone cheese. I'm gonna go ahead and boil my pasta al dente. The noodles are almost done. I've got them going al dente. I've got this pot heated up. I'm gonna throw in about five tablespoons of butter and it's super hot. I'm gonna also pour in some oil. Okay, waiting on that to melt. I've got some garlic and a shallot here. I'm gonna go ahead and toss in the shallot. I'm gonna add my garlic in here with the shallot. Let that cook about 30 seconds. And then I'm gonna throw in some flour. And what I'm gonna do is I'm making a roux. So I'm gonna put the flour in there and I'm gonna whisk it around. It's gonna turn brown. It's gonna thicken up quite a bit. And then I'll add the rest of the ingredients. Okay, I'm gonna toss in my flour. Whisk it around. Got a roux here. Kind of brown and it's thickened up a little bit. I'm gonna throw in some whole milk. And ooh, my other cheese, my mascarpone cheese. So this is a very oily cheese. It's so delicious. What kind of cheese is that? Mas mascarpone. 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 So this is gonna make it a very oily based pasta dish. But it's so good, y'all. This is like my favorite. I think it's Cody's favorite too, isn't it? It's one of my many. Matter of fact, somebody had asked us, what's oh, my yeah? favorite dish that uh, Kelly we makes? Have a lot though. Well, actually I said all. That's a good, that's a good, uh, good response I felt. Hold on. I'm You're doing more? More of that. <laughs> okay. Each their own. All right then. And let me add in. That's good. Oh, now the cheese too? Yes, not all of it. I'm gonna add in. Turn this heat up a little bit. So you're only adding a portion of it? Yes, because I'm gonna sprinkle the rest of it on top when it bakes. Oh, I remember this dish. How do you not even know? <laughs> man, I was just kind of going along with You're you. Like, the whole yeah, time. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, it's good, man. Yeah, favorite dish. Yeah, it's real good, yeah, man. Yeah, what you're oh, about. guys, no, I do remember this dish. This is like macaroni and cheese for adults on steroids. Okay. Uh, sir, you can put this back in the refrigerator. Let me get the else extra off here. Yes, okay. ma'am. Anything else? Okay, Cody, if you want to get the oven up here so we can get that started. Yes, ma'am. You can get that thing lit. All right, so my temperature of the oven, I believe, needs to be 350. I'm sure it's going to hover between 350, 375, 400. That's perfectly fine. All right, so I've got my new Martha Pan. Martha Pan. Martha Pan Stewart. Martha Stewart pan and I'm gonna go ahead and butter it just because sometimes things burn in this oven. Thank you, Martha Pan Stewart. <laughs> I'm gonna butter that. Oh, you gotta hit it up with that pepper, freshly cracked pepper out here in the woods. That's how we roll. I've got plenty of pepper in there. Guys, yeah, this ain't no playing game. Up. This is Thanksgiving weekend. All the stops oh. have been pulled. We're gonna gain 10 pounds. 
We're not doing any activities, but that's what Thanksgiving's all about. It's just about eating. So what did y'all have for Thanksgiving? Put in the comments below, because we know- If you had anything different that is not normally for Thanksgiving. Yes, because we know a lot of, we've learned recently, like some people are starting to do beef tenderloins yeah, beef or- beef tenderloin, pot roast, um, uh, what, pork tenderloin. I'm sure these are all stuck together. I'm just gonna loosen them up. And I'm hoping that all fits in that pan. Oh yeah. At home I usually do this in a 13 by nine, I think is what it is, so we'll see. All right, so I'm gonna add in my sauce here. Mm. That's beautiful. in here let's hope it all fits we're not gonna be able to eat all this i'll eat i'll eat all that from here <laughs> over that that's all oh you oh my god we are not gonna be able to eat all that that's hilarious i'm going to sprinkle this on top so the breadcrumbs go on top just you know crunching it up a little bit all right where are we at here on time all right 400 let's 400 put it in, man let's do this I love how that just slides in perfectly. All right, you got your timer going? Uh, no. How long? 30, let's do 30 minutes and then we'll check it. All right. Guys, we will see you in 30 minutes, but it might be one second for y'all. <laughs> so that was a fast 30 minutes for you. However, a lot can happen in 30 minutes. It started raining on us. Welcome to Arkansas. So we had to put up the canopy in that 30 minutes and move the table around as we were cooking. However, Kelly, how does this dish look? Oh, turn that off. This looks serious, honey. This looks serious. Good morning guys. Good morning. If you could tell when I was doing the drone just now, we saw the rain coming in from the southwest coming right towards us. I was trying to get this thing back as fast as I could. So we are under the canopy for now and I'm going to start cooking breakfast. I'm going to do French toast this morning and then later on we'll get started on the Thanksgiving meal.
in preparation for this rain that we knew we were going to get last night before we went to bed we piled up on a bunch of wood and then I stacked over there those three logs to help protect coals so that our fire doesn't go out so it'll get wet around it but with those three logs having flames within it it'll help protect it especially since they're cedar they burn so hot that it should be pretty good for later once this rain stops but we'll have dry wood thinking ahead right kelly So it's about noon and we've got to get Thanksgiving dinner started. And the first thing we are starting is, did you almost fall there? Yeah. <laughs> I almost fell asleep in the hammock. Well, the first thing we are starting is. So I'm making a cornbread dressing and I'm going to make homemade cornbread first. Mm. Look at this amazing find Kelly found washed up along the creek. Yeah, it's really old. I mean, it's probably from last season or even older. We can get that cleaned up. That's the first antler we've ever found camping. Yep, and we're out here all the time. All right. All right, so first things first, I already have all my dry ingredients mixed together. It's a uh, cornmeal, flour, baking powder, salt, sugar. I already have it pre-mixed together here. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get this rolling so that it can be heating up. In my mixing bowl, I'm going to go ahead and put crack two eggs in there. Then I need one cup of milk. Go ahead and throw in my mixture. So I'm just gonna make sure the batter is really smooth and it, there's no lumps in it. Everything is combined. Okay, that looks pretty good. I have my little pan here. I'm just gonna use this disposable one. It looks very flimsy, but I have cooked um, what have I cooked? Something in there before, and it turned out fine. So I'm at the bottom of my pan, I've got some bacon grease. So this is just bacon grease I've been saving uh, at the house. I keep it in this and keep it in my refrigerator. So what I'm gonna do is just put this in here. This is not quite ready yet, but what I'm gonna do is go ahead and stick this in here so that that can melt and it'll melt evenly all in the pan. I'll take it back out and we'll pour the batter in. Got my bacon grease here. It's, it's good enough. I'm gonna go ahead and pour in the batter. And the temperature needs to be at 425. It's already at 400. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop it in there. We just popped the cornbread in and it takes about 15 minutes to cook. The temperature did go down some while I was trying to put it in. So 425 is what it needs to be at, and it's at 350. So hopefully it should get back up in that temperature, but we'll see. I believe we're done. Let's see if I can get this out without hurting myself or spilling it. It's probably burnt on the bottom. Everything seems to burn. Man, it looks good, Kelly. So I'm just gonna let it cool off. It looks good on the sides, but we'll check the bottom. That looks good. Yeah, it looks good. I think that bacon grease is what helps. We're gonna get the uh, Dutch oven seasoned. 
because we've only used it one time. Yeah, it was last Christmas was the last time we used it. Usually don't get it out just because it takes up so much room and we're not usually around a fire long enough to have hot coals like that going on right there. <laughs> this fire's hot by the way, we just burned our hammock. <laughs> it still works, but there's a hole in it. Um, so cornbread's done. I've got uh, I like a crusty French bread here and all I'm doing is taking uh, the bread out of it and just kind of putting it in little bitty small pieces here. I'm going to do the same thing with the cornbread. I'm just going to crumble it all in here. I might not be able to use the whole pan because this is a small dish. I still have to add celery and um, onion and then the broth. Let me help you out there, babe. Okay. You want to check the little thing? Possibly. Let me yeah. get a little cornbread in here. Yeah. Man, that's some good cornbread. <laughs> the bacon grease that makes it. Oh, yeah. It's melting. We're about to get the chicken started. So we've rinsed it off, placed it in the cast iron. And Cody, what are you about to do? You, you're telling me, I oh. don't know. So he's got some thyme in his hand and we're gonna shove that in inside the, the chicken. We have removed everything that was inside the chicken. So we're gonna put that in there. Okay. I've got two tablespoons of butter here melted. I'm gonna pour it on top of the chicken and Cody's gonna rub it in. Next, I'm gonna squeeze some lemon on there. Last for the chicken, I'm gonna put some garlic. I'm just gonna kind of sprinkle the garlic all around it. Cody's got the fire ready and we're gonna put it on the coals and we're also gonna put some coals on top of it. I think it's gonna take about an hour to cook. Uh, we'll just check it periodically and see how it's doing. Oh guys, this is hot. <laughs> While we're waiting on the chicken, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the dressing. I've got an onion, I'm gonna chop some of that up, and then I've got some celery. I still can't get over this knife, it's just like butter. I'm gonna saute the onion and the celery together. That sounds like a kingfisher. That was a what? Kingfisher. Kingfishers are some of the coolest birds. They have a really long beak and they actually dive, penetrate into the water to catch their prey. And then something else I have to prepare for Kelly is I have to get a spot for our potatoes. I'm going to place the potatoes under this log here and want to actually get some coals on either side. But I want to remove these first and I'm going to place a rock right in this spot right here. Actually, honey, I could probably set it directly on the ground if I get all the coals out of the way. I've removed all the hot coal at the bottom because you don't want direct heat touching the full because we're going to wrap up some potatoes and place them in foil. 
and slide it in there. But if you had direct heat touching the foil, it will transfer to the potato and actually burn the potato instead of just cooking the potato. And it kind of looks like a little pizza oven now. I'm pretty impressed with it. What do we got going on over here, honey? I am uh, sauteing the vegetables. So I've got them all chopped up in here. I've got it on a low heat. I'm letting them just kind of simmer down a little bit. And then I'm actually gonna throw them in with the, um, the bread. Oh, so this is the creation of the dressing? Yes. Right on. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour a little bit. I like vegetable broth, but you can use chicken broth. Pour a little bit of that in there. While we're waiting on the uh, vegetables, I'm gonna go and prepare the potatoes. So I'm just gonna make a couple of slits here. Dude, you're really scaring me. Oh uh, no, I scare myself every time I do this. I usually use a fork, but you know, this is available. To prepare the potatoes, I've put slits in it. I'm going to pour some oil. Avocado oil. Originally $13.99 and Kelly got it on sale for? Uh, $6.99. Heck yeah. So these are, are soft. I'm just gonna turn the- Burner on. Yeah, I'm gonna sit there for a minute. Cause this is about to get dirty. I just put my hair up. That's good. This is a big one. Okay, it covered it. Thank God. Okay. You all hear the chicken cooking? So on to finishing the dressing. I've got all my bread here and this is probably hot. Next we've got poultry seasoning. I'm gonna just kinda eye that and just put some in here. And I have sage. Just a little. And of course, salt and pepper. And I believe we're actually out of pepper, so I'm just gonna get the last little bit out. I almost forgot I have to add egg to this. Pour my eggs in here. So with the broth and the eggs, I'm just trying to get a consistency. Um, this has to bake for 30 minutes at 350, so I'm just trying to get a little bit of a wet consistency so that it will cook really good and it won't be too dry. And I think this is good right here. What do you think, babe? I think it looks delicious. I'm ready to eat. Oven is at 350, so I'm going to go ahead and put this in there. And that is going to bake for an hour. And I'm kind of worried about it because we didn't like butter the pan. Just thought about that. We'll see. We'll keep an eye on it. So the potatoes are done. We just checked them with a knife and they're soft, but we're just gonna pull them off right now and set them to the side. And you ready to check the chicken? Yeah. I say the chicken looks good. You want a knife? Is that not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? Yeah, I want a knife.
my worst fear is if um, I'm sure y'all have seen uh, a Christmas vacation with Clark Griswold. I'm afraid he's gonna cut into it and it's gonna go, <laughs> it's just too done. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, it's done done. It's done done, let's tuck that back in. <laughs> tuck it back in. After my butter, I'm gonna put some cinnamon. you cannot forget the brown sugar. This is like your dessert part of the meal. Whoa! I'll take that one. Holy cow. Now what I'm actually gonna do is seal them back up and we're gonna place them back on the fire. Not completely like they were last time, but just a little bit. Everything is very melty which is perfect so now what i'm gonna do is put some marshmallows on it and you're like but kelly how are you gonna toast these marshmallows well guys i have a solution to that when you go camping during the holidays you cannot leave your house without your torch your kitchen torch yeah, this is real fancy, Kelly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is real fancy, Kelly. <gasps> Done! Alright, let's make it all pretty. I'd buy this for a dollar. Make it all pretty? Yeah, it's gorgeous. Look how amazing this is. I swear this chicken looks better than when we cook it at home. I cannot wait to get dig into it. And the garlic comes out of this, the shell or whatever perfectly. And you can just smash it on the chicken and eat it with every bite. Mmm, so good. I can't wait. Oh my gosh. Not the best chicken I've ever had in my life. Is it really? Yeah. Good morning everyone. Did not sleep very much last night. Like I said, we had a rainstorm coming and we were worried because we we're right by this water. But as you can see, it didn't get up any levels at all. It rained on and off till about midnight or after probably. And it got super hot and then the temperature dropped. Like this morning, it's probably in the 30s. Um, but yeah, but that's fine. Um, we got a fire, we have warm clothes, we're good. <clears throat> so, for breakfast this morning, I'm making homemade biscuits and gravy with uh, sausage. Good morning, Cody. Good morning. 
So I'm gonna warm it by the fire for a little bit and then I'm gonna get that started. Really well, I think we're gonna call this one done. We had a really good Thanksgiving. I had a blast. I love Thanksgiving. I hope y'all had a good Thanksgiving as well. And we just want to say again that we are so thankful for you guys that follow us and support us. We really appreciate it. Um, but we're gonna leave you here. Yeah. It's a beautiful spot. But if you like this vlog, make sure you give us a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, and subscribe. And we will catch you on the other. Bye.